Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But, Dad! What did I tell you? That... I'm grounded? Exactly! And that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair! Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. I regret nothing. We did it for research purposes. I'm so disappointed. I was expecting at least an apology. You are not a little kid anymore. How do you think Mrs. Johnson felt about her exploding garden? Intrigued by the exploding capabilities of sodium? She was furious. And now you are grounded. So no video games. Do you understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But Dad! You didn't apologize yet, so you better think of what you did and come up with a convincing apology tomorrow, or you're gonna keep grounded. But! I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences, because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night. Someone's throwing rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Probably Nick. I should open the window to see what's going on. Hey, Vinny, Vinny! Shh! Shut up, Nick. I'm grounded! Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our, uh, experiments near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail! We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free! We gotta get to Tony's house! Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked chicks on TV. Those are four words. But... <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, all right? Hey, there's the key to my wardrobe. Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud, man, I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Hey! What? Are you sure Tony made a signal discrambler? Yes, yeah, of course. Probably. Maybe. The point is, there is a big chance of seeing uncensored adult movies tonight, and you shouldn't miss it! Isn't Tony grounded too? Yes, but his grandmother's deaf as a doornail. Remember the time we hit a llama in Tony's basement? She never found it. Yeah, I guess she won't notice us either. Can you help me get out? Yeah, sure, jump, I'll catch you. You said that to Eddie Martinez and he broke a leg. Well, that's different, Eddie Martinez is fat. He's not my friend and his parents don't know mine. Forget it, I'm not gonna jump. Is anyone around? The coast is clear, you are safe to escape. Perfect. It's South Plains at night, what do you expect? Everyone is sleeping or watching TV. Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zipline? Isn't that like, kinda risky? I mean, you could fall, 
your dad is going to find you all crippled. Then he's going to call my parents, and I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my home. Okay, I understand. I guess a night of free pay-per-view cable is worth the risk. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry! Rad! Hey, my old Roboto Battle Station! What were you doing there? Fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. Okay, this is my one way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin. Hey, Tony! We're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. If you say so, I guess I'll give it a second chance. I'm sure you're going to like it. And in season two, things get much better with the first tooth pony babies and all. Megan really grew as a character. Really? Yeah. Anyways, I would love to keep hearing you talk about ponies, but let's go back to what is important. When are we going to start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. 
from China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed into South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... I'm pretty sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing Cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. Timber! Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? Uh, we saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick, pretend to be bigger. Wolves almost never attack adults. Go away. I've got a mortgage to pay. Shoo, shoo. Really? Shut up! It's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? Let's scare them by acting aggressive! I'll charge them! You cover me! Are you sure about this? I saw it in a documentary. A honey badger did this to a group of lions and he escaped! Those aren't lions. We're not honey badgers, and this is not a documentary. Let's give it a try. We have nothing to lose. Other than our life. Are you sure we don't have any other option? Okay, those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area's full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes sir. Let's go. Wait! Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you- What the hell? Run! Let's get to the treehouse.
Okay, here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Hello. Hi, kids. I'm kind of busy trying to write my novel. Go talk with Ranger Troy over there. We saw an alien! I'm the one writing a novel, and I'm trying to keep my writing grounded in reality. What is the novel about? A handsome ranger in the 19th century traveling through Europe. Interesting. Which countries does he visit? Italy, Spain, Paris, Serbia, Chile and Africa. I tried to keep everything in the west side of Europe. How long have you been just clipping your nails? Five hours? Uh, not much to clip at this point, but I find it good for creative thinking. However, uh, I'm kind of having writer's block. I have a few ideas, but I don't know how to follow up on them after the initial premise. Maybe you should stop clipping your nails and just write. You know nothing about creative thinking. It's all about procrastination. May we help you with your writing? Well, uh, I'm having troubles with a few ideas. Tell me if you have any good follow-up for this situation. The protagonist finds a mysterious tall man that kills a cop in front of him. A piano with a bomb attached falls over the protagonist's head while a rattlesnake bites him. A woman faints after seeing a wild lion, and they run out of smelling salts to wake her up. The protagonist and his friends are confronted by a group of hyenas. About the mysterious tall man. Yeah? What if the protagonist and his friends make a trap to catch him? Uh, yeah, a big trap, so he can't escape. Then they can ask him all kinds of questions. Like, why he killed the cop, or why he's on this planet. What are you talking about? He is from this planet. In fact, plot twist, he is going to be the long-lost father of the protagonist. But now he's part of the Empire and is into some dark cult. That sounds suspiciously close to the plot twist of the second Galaxy Wars movie. <laughs> Nonsense. May we help you with your writing? Well, uh, I'm having troubles with a few ideas. Tell me if you have any good follow-up for this situation. The protagonist finds a mysterious tall man that kills a cop in front of him. A piano with a bomb attached falls over the protagonist's head while a rattlesnake bites him. A woman faints after seeing a wild lion and they run out of smelling salts to wake her up. The protagonist and his friends are confronted by a group of hyenas. About the fainted woman. Her name is Susan. If they run out of smelling salts, why don't they just buy more? 
They are in the middle of the African savanna. Where the hell are they gonna find sodium carbonite and ammonium chloride in the middle of the African savanna? A plane crash? An old missionary expedition? A sorcerer gave it to him? I'm not convinced by any of those ideas. May we help you with your writing? Well, uh, tell me if you have the protagonist, a piano, a woman, f the protagonist, and about the group of hyenas. Five angry hyenas confront the protagonist and his two best friends. What if the protagonist and his friends scare off the hyenas by charging against the pack? Hey, that's not bad. And it makes sense. I heard that honey badgers do that to lions. Yeah, exactly. I'm not convinced. They are not honey badgers, and hyenas are not lions. Shut up. I like it. I'm going to start writing about it right away. And you. You deserve a prize. But, uh, what can I give you? A bear trap. No. You know what? Take my nail clipper. I hope I don't need it for a long time. That's... Disgusting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to write about. Hello. Hi, kids. Hi, Ranger Troy. What are you doing up so late? What kind of trouble you got brewing this time? I'm guessing you wouldn't believe us. There is an alien in the woods! <laughs> Hey, Jack, did you hear that? I wish I didn't. Sorry, kids. We don't have time for your games. We already have enough trouble with unscrupulous hunters. Yes, we do. Isn't one of your rangers missing? No. Why do you ask? Someone attacked a ranger in the green woods. We saw it. This is something serious, kids. When did all this happen? Uh, I don't know. A few minutes ago? Gotcha. I knew you were messing with us. We're the only two rangers on the night shift. Right, Jack? Yep, you were right. You've got to believe us. The ranger we saw was blonde and skinny. There are no skinny rangers in South Plains. Can you at least call the central station and ask if someone was sent to check Green Woods? Hmm, okay. Samantha? <sighs> yes, Troy? Was someone sent to the Green Woods tonight? No, Troy. Did something happen? Nah, just some kids trying to prank me. Good night, Samantha. Good night, Troy. Are you happy now? We saw something weird in the woods. You shouldn't be alone in the woods at this time of year in the middle of the night. Unless you want to be wolf food. And you don't want to be wolf food. But we saw a big creature. A bear? No, it was more like an alien. I hope you're trying to play a prank on us. Otherwise, television is frying your brains. Can we take the bear trap? No, that is evidence. Can you lend it to us? We'll bring it back, we promise! No, I will not lend a bunch of kids an illegal trap that is, in fact, evidence in a very complicated case. So, I guess that if we ask you to lend us a shotgun, the answer would also be no, right? You guessed right. I told you the one with the glasses was a smart one. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Opening the door will make it pretty obvious that I escaped. I don't know. It got us in a lot of trouble before. We may need to leverage this destructive power if we want to defeat a killer creature from outer space. Besides, it wasn't the sodium carbonate that blew up Mrs. Johnson's stuff. I mean, it was in part, but crafting that bomb took a lot of work and ingredients. It's quite inert at the moment. Go ahead, take it. These chemicals are always handy.
plastic bags, foam, cardboard boxes. Hey, here is a lovely Christmas red light bulb. This is not a Christmas light. It's an infrared light bulb. It even says it on the side. Yeah, I bought it by mistake. You can keep it if you want. Tubular. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I've seen you around. You're the kid next door, right? You live with the, uh, with the... With the old deaf lady. Yes, she is my grandmother. Her name is Ophelia, my name is Tony, and no, I'm not visiting her, I live with her. Cool. Well, that was a lot of information, so, uh, my name is Gary Wilson. You can call me Gary. I work in the video game industry. My wife is Victoria Wilson. I live with her, and she will kill me if I don't set up these Christmas lights tonight. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I made a mess with this cable, and now I can't reach the plug with it. I think I need another extension cord. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Ah, oh, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Have you seen something unusual tonight? Other than this extremely complicated mess, no, not really. Am I missing something? No, not really. But if you happen to see an alien creature, please tell us. I'll be sure to let you know. What video games have you made? Oh, well, I've made many games. The last game I was involved with was Maze Quest, The Stone World. There's real-life treasure for the players brave enough to beat it. That game is extremely unfair, and the clues it gives are insufficient to correctly solve a puzzle. No, 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 no. <laughs> you will realize there are subtle clues in the comics, toys, and cereals on how to beat the game. Do you know how expensive the comics, toys, and cereals are? Yep. That's why we made the game that way. I heard the game is impossible. You want to know how to beat it? Let's make a deal. You bring me an extension cord, and I'll tell you how to solve the unicorn riddle. Can you tell us how to find the unicorn too? No, I wasn't involved in that part of the game. But it can't be that hard. Is making video games as fun as it sounds? Yeah, making games is awesome! Do you like coding? No. Do you like doing art? No. Do you like repetitive stuff? No. Then, <laughs> you're not going to enjoy making games that much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Great idea. If the alien comes from space, chances are he's been exposed to all kinds of radiation. We should be able to detect him with this. Him or his spaceship? His ship, his pet, his socks. Anything that came from space should have higher rad levels than normal and set off the Geiger counter. The faster and louder it beeps, the closer you are to the radioactive source. <laughs> rad levels. May I have it? Yeah, sure. But I have to warn you, my cousin gave it to me because it's broken. Supposedly, when you turn it on, the screen just goes blue or white. I guess he wanted me to repair it, but I don't have anywhere to test it. The Geiger counter started to beep. Hey, this thing is picking up something in the hedge. Let me see. 
no, more to the left. A bit more to the right. Look what we got here. What do we got here? Yeah, what did we get? I don't know. A spear? It has a weird shine to it. This definitely came from outer space. Do you think it's linked to the alien? I don't know. It has some kind of button here. I wonder what would happen if I pressed it. Quick, hide! He's gone. This is definitely linked to the alien. Whatever this is, he's looking for it. Okay. Now we have a way to call the alien's attention. Just don't touch that button again until we have set up our trap. Hello. Hi, guys. Why are you just sitting there? Waiting for my turn to use the telephone. This week's rotation to use the phone is Mom, Diane, Dad, Nick, Diane, Billy, Tom, Diane, Diane, and me. So I'm next in line. Why so many Dianes? Is that not unfair? It used to be just Diane. Believe me, it's much better now. Why do you want to use the telephone? I want to enjoy the delights of spontaneous comedy. What does he mean? He wants to make some prank calls. He takes this so seriously. He'll spend hours calling the same number. Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm open to suggestions. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? The hamster was already dead when I arrived. What? Nothing! Goodbye! Bye, guys. Hello! I'm trying to talk here. No, a friend of my brother. Yeah. No, the one that looks like a lizard. Hey! I'm still here! I'm on the phone? I thought I was the one who looked like a lizard. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? You also heard about that? Raul is dating Mary, but she doesn't know he was with his sister last week. But Mary met up with Raul's brother that same day. Everyone is talking about that. We were asking you about an alien. Well, maybe Raul's family's from Argentina, but it's still impolite to refer to people like that. Oh, forget about it. May I use the phone? No way. But Diane, it's something important. Uh, no freaking way. Wait your turn, like Kevin. Who are you talking to? None of your business. It's Rebecca Watterson, right? Tell her I said hi. <sighs> My brother says hi. No, Nick. She asked me to tell you to stop stalking her. I don't stalk her. I have a friend that lives near her house. What friend? Um, Willie Wilson? That's like the worst made up name ever. Goodbye. It's just garbage, man. Believe me, if we throw something out, it's useless. Hello. Hello! Are you goblins? No. That's exactly what a goblin would say. Did you see anything unusual tonight? Let me try to remember. Oh yeah! I remember I saw a fairy flying around today. A big mechanical killer fairy?
Are you on something? Thought there was a no mechanical killer fairy. It was just a regular fairy. What did it look like? She was made out of light and was about the size of a big apple. Where did you see it? She was flying around in the night sky and then hissed somewhere around here. I was looking for her until you goblins showed up. Ah, uh, you have discovered us. We are goblins. I knew it! Now please tell me, where did you hide your pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. What? The ones with the pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. Yeah, we don't even have a credit card. What is the point of talking to goblins if they don't have any gold? I don't know. We can tell you to burn stuff. Or you can help us to complete deeds for a big magical reward. I know how your magical rewards work. I'm not gonna help you goblins. Y'all try to cheat me. Are you drunk? L let me think about it. No. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm drunk. You know anything about the message on the wall? Yeah, it was meant to Morrison. You to be a nice guy. You to make some real good pasta. Eating his leftover was always a delight. Then what happened? I don't know. One day he became a nut job. And believe me, my standards for defining a sane person are extremely low. Suddenly he believed in all kind of crazy conspiracies and weird mumbo jumbo. It is sad to see a man that can't differentiate between reality and fantasy. Why you ask? He steal your pot of gold? No, just curious. You do something other than drinking in the street? <clears throat> well, I collect pony trading cards. Do you have the whole album? No, currently I only have two trading cards. One with a pink pony drinking tea. I already have that one. And another one with a naked girl riding a tiger. That's definitely not a pony trading card. That explained why those girls didn't want to trade cards with me. Goodbye. Goodbye, little goblins. It's empty. It looks like it's empty. This reminds me of a Pony Show episode where there's a magical fridge that has a secret compartment, like the one I added here. Ta-da! Cool! What did you store here? A Pony and Co. Club ID? Why did you hide a Pony and Co. Club ID in a secret compartment? Are you mad? Do you know how hard it is to get one of these? Not really. Very. Hey, there's something in the trunk! Some... powder in a bag. It's fertilizer. Ugh, like shit? No, not that kind of fertilizer. Cool. Then, now we got some fertilizer. Hi, Earl! Hey, kids. Lovely not to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. 
So, what the hell are you doing on my property? We saw something in the woods and thought it may have headed this way. Hunting, huh? Look, I have no problem with you guys shooting around, but please be careful where you aim. I don't want to lose more cattle to gun accidents. You don't have any livestock left. Oh, yeah. It's true. I had to calibrate my new rifle last week. Well, at least don't shoot the pumpkins. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Yep. What did you see? Three kids in my farm out of nowhere. No, I mean, have you seen any weird looking animals? Oh yeah, I saw a duck wearing a shoe. Can you believe it? What the hell was he doing with a shoe? It looked so goofy. It made me laugh so hard. Where did it go? To ducky heaven. Or to my fridge, if you don't believe in God. Oh. Is that a fishing net? Yeah, but it's clean. Almost no fish stink on it. Can you lend us your fishing net? No, I'm using it. Besides, what do you want it for? To catch something with it? Let me think about it. No, I'm too comfy. Can you loan us some weapons? No. There are two things that a man should never let another person take from him. His weapon and his wife. That order of priority. I mean, if someone took your wife, it could be painful. But at least he can't shoot you in the face with her. How is the farm going? There's not much to do on the farm at this time of year. So it's kind of boring. Don't you have any hobbies? I like hunting, but I already reached my quota. There's not much left to hunt around here. Don't you like anything else other than shooting innocent animals? Yeah, I also like fishing them. I usually fish at the farm stream. When the water level's been really low lately, there's nothing really worth fishing for when it's like that. Goodbye. See ya. Let's see what we got. Bingo! Three things that are not completely garbage. A Jumpy Joe toy, a Chipmunks cassette, and a number five wrench. Jumpy Joe and the Chipmunks tape are clearly garbage. Okay, I'll ditch the Chipmunks. But I'm keeping Jumpy Joe, it's vintage. Hi, Bull. Hey, kids. You here to play some more video games? I got a new one. We need your help. There's a killer creature from outer space in town. Holy shit, what? A killer alien? That sounds dangerous. You should stay away from it. Are you going to help us? As much as I want to lend a hand with space hunting, I'm really busy. You are playing video games. Oh yeah, these things can be real addictive. And believe me, I know about addictive shit. So, are you going to help us? No, I really can't. You see that guy over there? Yes? Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. I have to make him talk. Can you do that later? He can't escape. No, this is one of those clients you don't want to mess with. But there is a creature from outer space here in South Plains! Believe me, kiddo. If they think I'm double-crossing them, they will come for me. Even if the whole cast of Galaxy Wars is running around town. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? I see unusual stuff all the time. A guy handcuffed in the bathroom, for instance. Would you mind being more specific? Did you see an alien creature? No. Are you sure? Does the alien resemble a Colombian mobster? No. Then I did not see it. What is that guy doing handcuffed in the bathroom? Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. 
Now I have to make him talk. But he's unconscious. Yeah, I kind of overdid my bad thug, good thug routine. But what could I do? There was no good thug. I think that's the downside of working alone. What did that guy steal? What do I always tell you? That stabbing someone is easier if that someone doesn't know he is about to be stabbed? Yeah, but what else? The less we know about your work, the better for us. What game are you playing? Maze Quest. Oh, this game is awesome. Did you know that if you beat this game, you can send a letter with a code to the developers of the game? And you can win a golden crown. A real solid golden crown. Tubular! Yeah, finally a game that inspires some emotions in real life. Can you help us hunt the alien? I would love to, but I can't. I'm in the middle of something important. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Hmm... Okay. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. I think the correct answer is Y-X-N-E-G-R-E-M-E -E -E, because it's emergency backwards. What about emerging it? Because he says the emergency backwards. What about stranger? He says that a lot, and I'm sure the logic of this game sucks. I told you, this game is just unfair. Done. Is this working? I see little difference. Well, that's the magic of infrared light. Oh, I see. No, you don't. That's like the whole point. Sure! It's a Renault Master 1980. These originally launched with the 2.5 liter Fiat Sofim diesel engine. You remember that, but you can't remember to wipe your feet when you enter someone's home? Unbelievable. Hello. Hey kiddos, what do you need? 
Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Oh, I know what you mean. That you thought was freaking huge. I was so distracted by that almost crap the van. You saw it too, right? Yeah, we saw it. Did you notice anything unusual afterwards? Temperature dropping, radio malfunctioning, compass going crazy? No. Why the hell would I carry a compass? Is the bridge broken? Under maintenance. It's not the same as broken. But just give that idiot Andrew a few more minutes. I'm sure he'll break it. Could you lower the bridge? Is there an emergency going on? Does an alien invasion count? Mm, no, if there's an alien invasion, I get the bridge schedule will be adjusted by the new intergalactic administration. You seem pretty busy. Is there any way we could help? Yeah, you see that Kenny guy over there? Yes. That's Andre. Could you please point out to him what cable is the green one? He is colorblind. Okay. Andre, I'm sending over some kids to help you find the green cable. Please don't screw it up this time. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Hello, sir. Hey, kids. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Besides that stupid fallen star that attracted Carl and almost made a craft the van? Yes! Uh, anything else? Well, tonight, Carl paid for the coffee. That's pretty unusual. He's a pretty big chief cat, you know? What are you doing? Doing some bridge maintenance. What kind of maintenance? Oh no. Like clearing the things and then you adjust some bolts and check them with juice. It's pretty technical stuff. I think you're too young to get it. Usually it's just motors, pulleys, and counterweights. I'd say it's fairly easy to understand for someone of a young age. It's not like, I don't know, Boolean algebra. Or girls. Can we help you with something? Not at this moment. I think I've got everything under control. Everything is fine. Fine and dandy. You have no idea where to start, do you? Nope, not a clue. Can you open the bridge? Oh, I'm working on this thing. But what if there's an emergency? I'm working on this thing. That's already an emergency. For the people crossing the bridge in the future. The man over there told me I should point out the cable you need to work on. Oh yeah! Being colorblind can be annoying sometimes. Thanks! Well, this is something new. You had a car over there to pass me the wrench. Hello! Hey kiddos, what do you need? Andre told me to ask you for the wrench. Okay, give me a minute. Here you go. Andre, I'm sending you the wrench you asked for. Right. Let's see. Hey, there's something funny going on with the bridge. It's a short circuit. You should check it before everything catches fire. You know too much. Something tells me you had something to do with it. It was all my fault. I gave him the wrong tool by mistake. Tony and Nick have nothing to do with it. It wasn't my intention to cause any trouble. It's okay. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. For not handling the tools myself. You were just trying to help. Anyway, it's really good to see that you assume responsibility for your actions. And didn't try to. Carl, are you there? 
Yes, what is going on? I think that they're catching fire. Can you come help? Oh my god! What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to burn down the bridge? It ain't my fault. These things are too complicated. How the hell did you set this on fire with just a wrench? Sometimes I think you are a gremlin in disguise. Give me some space. It worked! The cable is free! But the nail clipper broke. Well, that makes sense. It was meant to cut nails, not hard plastic. Hello, Jeanette. Hello, guys. Oh, it's you. Uh, Nick, right? I already told you, we don't sell those kinds of magazines. Oh, well, yeah, I know. Are you trying to buy adult magazines from the comic book store? That's none of your business. Okay. Are you going to buy something? No, I mean, maybe. Well, then, uh, how can I help you? Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Yes. Something happened to the TV a few moments ago. I can't see the Pop Top 50. I mean, look! It's only showing that stupid test signal thing. What do you think, guys? Could this be the work of the alien? I don't think so. SMPTE color bars are broadcasted by the TV station. And you're tuning in to local TV, right? Well, kind of. It's Channel 32 out of North Forest. Oh yeah, that's the station near the other side of the bridge. That's the one. Then they're probably the ones messing things up. North Forest people are so incompetent. Hey, my family's from North Forest. I mean, uh, they are so cool. Oh, shut up, you little perv. <laughs> little perv. Isn't it kind of late for a comic store to be open? <laughs> Don't you know? We are now open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Really? Who buys comics at 4 a.m.? Mostly the guys from the bar. Usually they're just really drunk and don't know what they're buying. Or are in dire need of paper. I feel bad for those comics. <laughs> you don't have to. I usually sell them comics that are already shitty. Can we pay you later? No. If you're gonna buy something, you have to pay for it now. We don't have any money with us. If you don't have any money, maybe you have something you want to trade in the Emerald Trading Club. How does the trading club work? It's pretty easy. If you have a comic, a book, or a video game cartridge, you can trade it for something else from the Emerald Trading Club box. Of course, your stuff has to be in good shape. Keep in mind that this service is only for regular customers that are part of the Emerald Club, or if you belong to any of our partners' customer programs. So we can use it, right? We come here a lot. Of course, if you have your Emerald Club ID or the idea of a customer program with any of our partners. I knew there was going to be a catch after the, of course. Who are your partners? Mark Worland, Toy Camp, Ponies & Co., the Laser Llama Arcades, the Booze & Boobs Club, and lastly, the National Double-Barreled Shotgun Catholic Association. What comic would you recommend to us? My personal favorite, Rocco versus Alien. It has a fascinating story. Are you sure? It sounds terrible. Oh no, it's really well written. The tension builds more and more each round. My favorite part is when Rocco realizes that the blood of the alien is like acid and uses it to blind a ninja who is helping the alien from outside the ring. There are ninjas in it too? 
Yes! <laughs> oh, and the plot twist in the end. Oh, you are going to love it if you have a soft spot for emotional moments. Goodbye. See you later. Welcome to the Emerald Trading Club, sir. Do you have any comic, book, or a video game cartridge you want to trade? Maybe. Want to trade your game in the trading club? Yeah, it's a great game. Well, first, we have to see if it works. It doesn't. Just give him a minute. It will start at any moment. If the game doesn't work, then you can't trade it. Hey, now it works! Great. Want to trade it on the trading club? Hmm... Okay. Cool. Pick anything from the box. I just traded a rad game for The Boy Scout's Guide to Essential Knots. Hello! Get lost, morons. I'm busy right now. You don't seem to be that busy. Well, I am. No, you are not. You are just smoking. Oh, shut up. He looks stupid, but that's not a valid reason to punch someone. He has a mobile phone. Wow, this guy must be loaded. Or he stole it. He looks stupid, but that's not a valid reason to punch someone. Hello! Get lost, morons. I'm busy right now. You don't seem to be that busy. Well, I am. No, you are not. You are just smoking. Oh, shut up. Hi. Hello. Did you see anything unusual tonight? Like what? Like an alien. <laughs> Don't be silly, kids. Aliens. We saw a creature in the woods. Take this. Here's the ranger's number. Bears are very dangerous creatures. Oh, it wasn't a bear. It was a huge alien. Yeah, like... A robot or something. Mm, I'm sure it was just your imagination. Where did you say you saw this? In the green woods, near the main entrance. Okay. I think your imagination and the creepy shadows can sometimes trick your perception. I recommend you go back to your homes. It's kind of late. And don't go to the woods at night. It's full of bears and wolves. What is this facility all about? Telecommunications. Someone told me that some of the most prolific scientists from all over the world are working here, developing what will be the future of communications. I heard they are making phones so small that they can fit in your pocket. Awesome! He's messing with you. I've seen cellular phones. They don't fit a pocket, unless you've got huge pockets. May we enter? No. Authorized personnel only. But what if we bring in authorized ID? I will know that it's fake. Look, security here is no joke. There are no kids allowed. Not even I can enter the facility. And I've been working here for three months already. Why is New Frontier always so heavily guarded? Have you heard of industrial espionage? No. It's when a company spies in another company to gain access to its secrets and technology. Exactly. And 
New Frontier is all about technology. I heard that the Soviets are particularly interested in getting their hands on the New Frontier's prototypes. How paranoid. Goodbye. Good night, kids. Head home now. It's late. Now I could turn the valve. The vegetation's really dense here. Okay, so this goes here, then here, and done. They were mainly triple marinero knots. Cool. Just plug it in there. Lights on. <laughs> now it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> and I didn't forget your reward. To solve the unicorn riddle, the correct answer is 115. What is the logic behind it? The unicorn's question is, Tell the emergency backwards. Well, you see, the emergency number is 911, but backwards it's 119. But you have to subtract a goblin from the cereal box and eight lions from the toy lines. But each lion's worth just half. So it's 119 minus 4 comes out to 115. That puzzle doesn't make any sense. Oh, the Rangers. I've never called them. It could be really refreshing to have something new in my repertoire. It's the Ranger's phone. I guess no one is having a bear emergency at midnight. Hi, kids. Can you at least call the central station and ask if someone was sent to check Green Woods? Mm, okay. Samantha? <sighs> yes, Troy? Was someone sent to the Green Woods tonight? No, Troy. Did something happen? Nah, just some kids trying to prank me. Good night, Samantha. Good night, Troy. 
Are you happy now? Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. I can't reach it. They probably won't let me use it anyway. Yeah. Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. I think the correct answer is Y X N E G R E M E. Because it's emergency backwards. What about emergency it? Because he says the emergency backwards. What about stranger? He says that a lot, and I'm sure the logic of this game sucks. Well, this makes no sense at all, but according to Mr. Wilson, it's 115, and he made the game. Noted. Okay, I will mix these two. Now I have sodium carbonate with ammonium chloride. Is that explosive? No. I mean, I guess. It's a spelling salt. It's used in some sports for waking people up. Okay. Let's give this a try. <coughs> He's awake! What kind of sorcery is this? It's not magic. Smelling salts release ammonia gas, which triggers an inhalation reflect by irritating the mucous membranes of the nose and lungs. Fainting can be caused by excessive parasympathetic and vagal activity that slows the heart and decreases perfusion of the brain. The sympathetic irritant effect is exploited to counteract these vago parasympathetic effects and thereby reverse the faint. Cool. Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. Hey, the guy over there woke up. Awesome. Now, kids, wait outside a minute. Monica and I need to talk with this gentleman in private. Do you think the bull is going to kill him? I don't think so. It's not his style. He doesn't kill in cold blood. Are you sure? Yes. Almost positive. Okay, kids. I have the information I was looking for. Can you help us with the alien thing? Ah, sorry. I got a lot of work to do right now. I have to gather the guys, dig a huge hole, load a truck, and send it to somewhere else. Can you at least tell us where you are going to dig the hole? Yes. It could be crucial in setting our trap. <sighs> okay. But I need you to wait here for about 30 minutes, then go to the green wood. You will find a big hole there, but after that, we are even. Okay. Perfect! We have a deal. Sure! What favor does he owe you? Oh, that. I gave him the number for a good pizza place. He really appreciates that kind of stuff. Not much to see there. It's just a couple making out. Although, if we were in a horror movie, the alien would show up right now and kill them. Yeah, and wait a minute. That's Brandon, my sister's new boyfriend. He's cheating on her? 
And with Sophia Lombardo, I knew he was a scumbag! What should we do? Nothing. I'm gonna rat him out. I want her to see this with her own eyes. Okay, the only thing left in here is my broken Polaroid camera. It's not broken anymore. I fixed it. Well, kinda. You can only take pictures and ambiances that are mainly illuminated by infrared lights, but it's better than nothing. Where are the rest of the things we usually store here? Oh yeah, I took some stuff home. I hope you don't mind. You even took my extra pair of glasses. Yeah. Did you know that if you point them at the right angle on a sunny day, you could burn ants? Okay, let's see if this works with infrared light, as you say. Perfect! Don't be an idiot! Now we have proof that Brandon is secretly dating Sophia Lombardo! Who the hell is Sophia Lombardo? You don't know her? She's the cheerleading captain! Nope, no idea who she is. You cheating bastard! I'll teach him! Thanks, Nick. Now I'll teach that jerk a lesson. Wow, your sister is about to commit a murder. Aren't we supposed to do something about that? Ah, she won't kill him. She's done this before. Twice. Oh. Is anyone in your family not a potential psychopath? Am I the only one thinking about the missed opportunity of having a firearm with us while looking for a killer alien? To be honest, no. Okay. The perfect crime. Shut up! Well, if the hole is already here, I guess this is the place. Who is going to climb up there? Give me a minute. I'll have this set up in no time. Done! Okay, I hope this gets the creature's attention. Don't forget to activate it first. Here we go!
Now, hide. Do you think he's going to? Now, drop the net. We got him. That was intense. He he saw us, and he sp spoke to us. He tried to communicate with us. We put together this stupid trap for nothing! For nothing! We wasted God knows how much time setting this trap up for nothing! Oh, wait, let me correct myself. It wasn't for nothing. Now the killer creature seems to be even stronger! We don't know that. I think he is right. Hmm. Apparently that sphere was one of his eyes and it appears to have been a necessary component to activate his laser beam. We gave him a laser gun! This couldn't get any worse! What the hell? That wasn't far away from here. Let's go see what's going on. Are you nuts? If you are right, and we gave that creature a weapon, if someone is in danger because of something we did, then it's our responsibility. We should go see what's going on and try to stop that thing. Bogus. I hate when you're right. Let's go. We must look for survivors. Three seconds to complete lockdown. What? Lockdown completed. This facility is sealed. Please remain calm. The rescue team is on its way. Damn, I knew something bad was gonna happen. What would Rocco do in a situation like this? You are not Rocco. We are not part of the special forces. We can't even legally buy beer. But we can steal it. I mean, we have stolen beer from Fred's shop a couple of times. That's a great point! You see, we are not men yet. So, when we approach the men's world, we come with our own creative solutions. And that's how we're going to get away from here. Hiding a beer in a backpack when Fred was distracted wasn't exactly the definition of ingenuity. Oh, shut up! You're missing the point! Help! Did you hear that? There are still people here. And it seems like they're in trouble. He might be of help. Let's go! And now it's open. What a mess! Oh, thank God! Humans! Yes! Help me out! Can you open that door? We can try! Can you open the door from the room you're in? No! Did you already try pressing all the switches there? Uh, give me a minute. The door is still closed. Yes, and the lights are out. Are there more survivors? I don't know. Do you know where we can find a fire extinguisher? No, I have no idea. You know where we can find a card to open the door? At the reception. All ID cards are there. Give us a minute. Hurry!
The chalkboard reads, Native Substance, and has a series of elements pointing to it. That SI stands for silicone, CA for calcium, S for sulfur, and C12H22O11. What the hell is that? Sucrose. And that is? Regular sugar. One unit of calcium added. One unit of sulfur added. One unit of sulfur added. One unit of sulfur added. Okay. Native substance mixing with local ingredients. Container cleaned. Filling container with new formula. Process complete. You can now withdraw your container. Okay. Now the sprayer is full of this thing. Cool! Now I have a sprayer full of that thing. Hey, this thing's great to stop fire. Unit to silicon added. One unit to sulfur added. Okay. Native substance mixing with local ingredients. Container cleaned. Filling container with new formula. Process complete. You can now withdraw your container. Okay. Now the sprayer is full of this thing. Cool! Now I have a sprayer full of that thing. Okay, now this thing should stop short-circuiting. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that suddenly everything will start working fine. I mean, this place was heavily damaged by an unknown alien weapon. Hey! Open that door! We are on it! Did you already try pressing all the switches there? Ah, uh, give me a minute. The door is still closed. Yes, and the lights are out. Give us a minute! Hurry! It gave me a cup with 
sugar in it. This thing is messed up. I told you, even if we fix the power... Yeah, you are a smart guy. We get it. Can you calculate the odds of leaving this place in one piece? It's hard to put that in numbers, so I'll go with between not too good and terribly bad. I added some sugar to the formula. Are you planning to drink it? No! This corrosive is awesome! I can't believe I was carrying this in my pocket. This thing is dangerous. The sprayer is starting to melt. I don't blame it. Was good while it lasted. Are you okay? Yes, thank you so much. We should get out of here. The main door is closed. You know any other way to get out? Let me try something at the front door. If I get the codes right. Team Alpha, the Strider is in the building, along with four human trespassers. Damn! We need to get the hell out of here! Wait, that's a rescue team! They're referring to us as humans. That's no rescue team. Now hurry, follow me. We've got to take the elevator. What are you talking about? Gosh, you have no idea what's going on, do you? Isn't it obvious? Let me sum it up quick. We don't have much time, they're not a rescue team, and they're not humans. We must escape. Now come with me if you want to live. It sounds crazy, but I believe her. What are we waiting for? This is too weird and getting way out of control. Don't look at me. My plan for tonight was to watch naked girls on TV. The elevator is almost here. They already entered the building. Surrender! Hurry, hurry, hurry! If you come any closer, I'll blow this building away! What are you doing? Buying some time. You hear me? We have planted explosives all over this building! Do you think they bought that? I don't know. Surrender immediately! Uh, they did not. Take the elevator! I'll try to hold them off! Are you nuts? Where are your weapons? You can't hold shit! If you do that, you are most likely going to die. Whoa! What the hell? Get in quick! I thought that thing was gone. Seems like he's still hanging around. What the hell is that? An alien. I mean, it's not the only one, right? No, he's not. You know more about this aliens thing than us. We should be asking the questions. What are they if they aren't humans? I think they're some kind of humanoid alien. At this point, I can believe anything. They look pretty normal to me. They bleed blue. Also, did you see any of those guys without a hat or helmet? They're not humans. The upper part of their head is full of scales. Besides, the technology they're using is definitively not of this world. What is this place? This is a research facility. They seem to be experimenting with different elements combined with some weird substances they already had. Beside research here, they craft supplies for the North Forest facility. There, they're making some kind of ultimate weapon. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something bad and big. 
Why are we being chased by them? We're inside an ultra-secret facility. These guys are plotting something big. Something way too big for them to run the risk of letting us get out alive. What were you doing in the facility? I'm a reporter. At first, I thought they were just covering for an illegal substances factory, so I infiltrated them. Then, I thought it was an undercover military operation. Then, I realized this was much bigger than I thought. You know anything about the tall creature? No. The only thing I can tell is that he doesn't like the people from New Frontier. What the hell? This is awkward. Okay, this is the point of no return. We are far past that point already. What is he doing? I think he's tried to communicate. Hi, my name is Vinny. You are? I'm guessing he don't give a shit about your name. He wants us to repair that thing. Oh, now I understand. This place is connected to the New Frontier North Forest facility through this subway. I think he wants us to help him get there. Isn't the North Forest facility full of those guys that are trying to kill us? Yeah, that's why we should leave the train before reaching its final station. But don't worry. I recall there was an emergency exit halfway. I'm not fully convinced, but it's a better plan than just sitting here and waiting for them to catch us. Now let me see why this thing isn't working. I see. You made a mess here. I think I could fix some of the damage. Can you lend me a hand over here? Sure. What you got in your pockets? Maybe I could use something. I have this. I would need those. Okay. By the way, what's your name? Linda. And you are? I'm Vinny. And they are Nick and Tony. And he is? We have no idea. They refer to him as a Strider. He doesn't like that name. What about Ralph? It's an acronym for Robot Alien Life Form. You, you can't name it Ralph. It's a pretty regular name for a killer alien. What about Killer Destructor or Laser Doom? Those names are lame. Ralph sounds good to me. You see? He likes it. Okay, enough with the naming. We have other things to worry about. I can keep working on this thing, but there are some things I need you to help me with to leave this place. Like what? First of all, I need the keys to this thing, or it's not gonna work. Also, the battery is too damaged. I need a replacement battery. It doesn't have to be the exact same kind of battery, but at least one with decent voltage. And last but not least, we must validate our departure in the central computer. You know this place better than us. Is that doable? I guess. Besides, we don't have any other escape options, do we? Take this. What is it? It's a map of this facility. It will make it easier for you to navigate this place. It's huge. Cool. Uh, aren't you coming with us? No, I have to keep working on this mess. But don't worry. I'm sure you're gonna do a great job. Aren't you afraid to be left alone with Rolf? No, he seems to be a good guy. You see? Linda? Yes? Is there any other escape route? Uh, no, not really. Unless you count suicide as a form of escape. Of course I don't! Good. Then we're on the same page. How did you infiltrate this place? The process was long. 
but basically fake IDs, poor human resources management, and luck. Can you lend us anything you are not using to fix the train? Let me check. Nope. I don't have anything useful. Are you sure? Uh, unless you can use a pair of glasses to fix a train, yes. Do we need glasses to fix the train? No. Why do you think Ralph is trustworthy? I'm not sure, but at least he's not trying to kill us. And he's the only one who's armed around here. Do we have any other option? I'll be back. Okay. Hello. Do you understand us? He said yes! You don't understand us, do you? He doesn't understand us. Or, he is replying very vaguely to our questions. Where are you from? What a weird name for a planet. Bip, bip, boop! I think it's a bad idea trying to use a language we don't understand. We could be insulting his mother, if he has one. Wait here. We will be back soon. Looks like they were still expanding. Yes. They were carving the stone. This is a perfect place to talk. What do you mean? I don't know. In other places, I feel like we were being monitored. I don't think they had time to put microphones and cameras here. And it even has a place to chill. Can you help me climb there? Then I'll pull you up. Okay. Just. Be careful when climbing. I don't want any rocks to fall on me, okay? Be careful with the dust, too. My eyes get irritated really easy. Sure! This has potential. As if I could do anything else, I could hear you from a mile away. Free advice, guys. You should not be that loud if you are in enemy territory. Even if you have a Strider on your side. And observation is important, but please stop talking about every little thing you encounter. Who are you? Does it matter? Yes. Then you can call me Prisoner Castillo. Why are you in prison? Many things. But mainly for insurrection, kidnapping, thieving, sabotage, and murder. Oh, and smuggling forbidden goods. <laughs> I always forget that one. What do you know about this place? I'm just a prisoner here, so don't expect much insightful information from me other than leaving this place isn't that easy. But if I were you, I would try to get all the help I could, even if that includes sighting the smugglers. How can you help us? You're a prisoner. Yes, that's exactly what I am. But I know a thing or two about this place, and I know a thing or two about your current situation. What do you know? I know you are trying to escape using the train, right? But you need a key to turn it on, right? But you don't have said key. Right. How do you know all that? Because I have the same idea. And I happen to have the train key. So, 
Let's do this. You help me get out of my cell. I help you get out of this place. Everyone is happy. Why should we trust you? You don't have many other options, do you? How could we help you get out? Easy. Make an officer open that cell for you. How are we going to do that? Oh, I don't know. At gunpoint, kidnapping a relative. Be creative. Why can't we just open the door by ourselves? Because the hand scanner will know you are not authorized personnel. Why do you have the train key? I have it because I was planning my escape way before you or that crazy Strider arrived at this place and ruined everything. And believe me, getting this wasn't easy. Do you have anything you could lend us to help you get you out of your cell? I could give you the knife I was saving for the guards, but I better not. You are siding with that crazy Strider, and he is definitely trying to purge this place of non-native specimens. We will not tell him it's yours. We can't even communicate with him. I know. They just beep and blip. But the sense of smell on those things is really good. If he smells something that was in contact with me, he'll probably realize he left survivors, and he'll come for my head. That's not true. A few hours ago, we were hiding from him and he couldn't find us. Yeah, and we were just behind some bushes. Really? That's weird. But then again, you are weird hairy aliens. Who knows what kind of crazy glands you have to disorient a strider. I can assure you, for me and my kind at least, if they get our scent, they could track us like really fast. Do you have any information that could be helpful? Could you be more specific? Let me think. Come on, how are we going to escape if you don't even know what you want to ask? What are you, kids? Hey, hey, we know what we want. How do we kill your kind? That's an excellent question. We are very sensitive about heavy physical damage. A shot to the head, and we are done. Cut our throats, we are done. Set us on fire, dead. High voltage, poison, deprivation of oxygen. Dead, dead, and dead. Did that help? Hmm, kinda. Changing the subject. Where are you from? Not around here, obviously. I was born in Carnathia. Lovely town. The weather is not that good, but the cold barrels there are delicious. But which planet? If I say Planet Morello, does that make any difference to you? Don't expect me to unveil the magical wonders of the universe to you guys. I'm not a science guy. I'm not even sure where I am. All I know is that I'm far away from home, and that I'm in prison, and I want to get out. What do you know about Striders? That they are big and mean. If they get your scent, they can track you down. They are hard to kill, and they don't like us. Why? Because we don't like them either. About letting you out in exchange for the train key. Yes. Do you have any information that could be helpful? Could you be more specific? Let me think. Come on, guy. How are we going to escape if you don't even know what you want to ask? What are you, kids? Hey, hey, we know what we want. How do we kill your kind? That's an excellent question. We are very sensitive about heavy physical damage. A shot to the head, and we are done. Cut our throats, we are done. Set us on fire, dead. High voltage, poison, deprivation of oxygen. 
dead, dead, and dead. Did that help? Mmm, kinda. Changing the subject. Goodbye. See you later. It's locked. Give me a minute, I'll open it. What a disappointment. It's empty. Not empty, look. I found this small key. A small key can lead to big things. Hello? Central Computer Online, how may I help you? We need you to validate the next train departure. Action denied. Security Protocol 304 initiated. Could you please validate the next train departure? Action denied. Security Protocol 304 initiated. What if it's super important? Super important is not a valid reason to override protocol 304. What is the security protocol 304? The facility security has been compromised. No one can leave the facility until the situation has been normalized. The situation has been normalized. Please stop security protocol 304. Negative. You do not have the credentials to stop protocol 304. We should reset this computer. Negative. You don't have the credentials to initiate the reset process. What if we unplug and replug the power cable? Dot, dot, dot. Negative. The central computer memory is saved in an external server. What if we turn off the external server? Dot, dot, dot. Protocol 304 activated information. Denied. What is this facility? Protocol 304 activated information. Denied. Is there any command we could use? The command trivia is available to relieve stress during Protocol 304. Trivia? Did you know that Yuri Gagarin was the first man to travel to space? Trivia. Yuri Gagarin's Vostok 1 flight took place on April 12th in 1961. Trivia! Yuri Gagarin was born on the 9th of March, 1934. Do you know any trivia that doesn't involve Yuri Gagarin? Processing. No. Trivia! Yuri Gagarin's height was 1.57 meters. Goodbye! Have a great day. Sure! It's a futuristic looking alien machine. I wonder what it's used for. It's just a microwave. Really? Oh. I just hope no one from school sees me carrying this glove. Let's focus on escaping this place. Then we can worry about looking like idiots. The Erlenmeyer flask is filled with some orange substance labeled Substance X. Did you know that the Ironmeyer flask is named after the German chemist Emil Ironmeyer who created it in 1860? I had no idea, Tony! I'm escaping killer aliens and learning! What a night! Cool. 
This was the key of the cabinet. I will take one of these tubes. I have no idea what substance F is. I just hope it's not a virus. What the hell is that? I don't know, but thank god it's in a cage. That's not native to our planet, that's for sure. Do you think it's dangerous? Of course! I don't know, but I wouldn't let him out of his cage. This chart represents all the parts of the creature's anatomy. They are named Helmites. And apparently, this is the Earth B-22 mutation type. These gas cylinders are empty. And apparently they have potassium sulfide. Why would they want potassium sulfide? I don't know. And I have no idea how you can make gas out of it. Let me try this one. Okay. This terminal only has research papers related to those things. Helmites and how they evolve on different planets. Results of training Helmites for military use? Why Helmites love acidic foods? An evolutionary approach. Helmites, the doom of mammals? The sedative effect of potassium sulfide on Helmites and its applications? How to avoid triggering the queen effect on Helmites? 49 reasons why you should never put more than one Helmite per cage. Is there a cure for Helmite venom? These things are venomous? Apparently. Can you access the documents? <sighs> I'm trying, but they ask for a 20 character long password. Forget it. Hello? I will not surrender. Jesus Christ. Drop your weapons. We will not harm you. I'm not that stupid. I will not fall for that. What is this place? Don't try to distract me. You know very well what this operation is about. Ugly monsters! Please, stop shooting at us! Do you take me for a fool? His aim sucks. Just come closer so I can aim at you better. Goodbye! You are all going to die. You're running out of time. Here we go. The plan is as follows. We start a fire here. The fire is going to spread through the oil and reach the stun gas barrel. The stun gas barrel is going to mount. Then, the stun gas is going to leak, stunning the guard. Then we enter the room, put out the fire, and disarm the guard. Okay? Sounds like a plan. Ha! Ah! Do you think you are going to force me to leave my position with some little fire? Well, you better. What the? What? What happened? Well, the stunning gas was gas after all. Gas and fire, you know. You knew this was going to happen? It was a possibility. Now you see it, now you don't. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It's a server. It stores computer information. This thing is huge. It must contain more than a hundred gigabytes of information. Wow, that's like a lot of books. Okay, 
how do I turn this thing off? Let me do it for you. The lock needs an alphanumeric password to open. The possibilities are endless. Hello? One step closer and I fry you. We come in peace. No, you don't. You killed almost everyone in this facility. That wasn't us. That was... Th the tall alien! You're all together in this. I'm not stupid. Is there anything we could do to prove to you that we come in peace? Yes. What is it? Kill yourself. I think we all agree that's not a valid option. Well, you should kill yourself while you can. Drop your weapons. There's no place to run. Never. The cavalry could be here any minute. You are doomed! Surrender! This is over. Never! Why don't you come and try to finish me off? What are you? Chicken? Don't you ever! Really? Damn, that was stupid. You can't hide there forever! He is right. He can't hide there forever. Shit, I'm in a really bad position. If I lean out, he will hit me. Let's do something. When I shout, now, you jump over here. I can do this all day. Now! Damn! That was close. That was unnecessary. There's nothing left in his pockets. <sighs> what a shame. It's a bag of cheese puffs. No, it's not. Why do you say that? Well, it says it on the label. Chaws Puffs. Isn't that a silly marketing name for cheese puffs? They look like cheese puffs. They even smell like cheese puffs. Check it on the ingredients. Ingredients. Tartaric acid, salt, sugar, malic acid, citric acid, and white chaz essence. It expires the 22nd of Ramon of the year 43. Definitely not cheese puffs. This is not even from this planet. I'll keep it. Who knows, it may come in handy. It could be useful. Yes, salt, lemons, and a good tequila, and we could prepare tequila shots! How could that be of any use in our situation? I don't know. Things are getting so crazy tonight that I wouldn't be surprised if we have to sneak into a Mexican-themed party to get out of here. There is nothing useful inside the trash can. It's just... A lot of trash. What about that yellow thing over there? That's a banana peel. We should take it and use it to make someone slip on it. I don't think that's a good idea. The trash from here smells. That's too silly. I vote for no. I vote for no too. You're going to regret it later. I'm not sure what is inside this mixer machine. Oh, that? That should be liquid rubber. It's mainly used for roofing. Since when did you know about roofing? I spent last summer helping my uncle Lorenzo with that kind of stuff. Now I have cooking gloves coated with rubber. Hello. 
Hi, guys. Any good news from the outside world? About letting you out in exchange for the train key. Yes. Do you have any information that could be helpful? Could you be more specific? Let me think. Come on, guy. How are we going to escape if you don't even know what you want to ask? What are you, kids? Hey, hey, we know what we want. How do we kill your kind? That's an excellent question. We are very sensitive about heavy physical damage. A shot to the head, and we are done. Cut our throat, we are done. Set us on fire, dead. High voltage, poison, deprivation of oxygen. Dead, dead, and dead. Did that help? Hmm, kinda. Chink. Goodbye. See you later. It doesn't work. I guess we are not authorized personnel. Should I try this? Yeah, the rubber coating on the glove should prevent you from getting an electric shock. It worked! Okay, now let's reset this computer. Hello? Central Computer Online, how may I help you? Could you please validate the next train departure? Processing. Train departure. Accepted. Yes! Well done. It was all thanks to the combination of our efforts. Your knowledge of servers and electronics? Your out-of-the-box thinking. And Nick! Hey! Nobody is going to say anything good about my skills? Well... You can talk naturally to girls you like. I guess that requires skills. Come on, everyone can talk to girls. Uh, no. Vinny acts pretty stupid when he talks to Samantha Silverman, and when I see a girl I like, I just freeze. You should try to just... say the first thing that comes to mind. That could help. I will try next time. Hey! Hey! I'm the one who can talk to the girls he likes. I should be giving the advice here, and I can do much more than just talk to girls. I know about cars, and I'm all like the badass leader of the group. You are not the leader of the group. Can we talk about that later? We have a train to catch. A ton of papers about what seems to be electromagnetic research. What is this facility? Information missing. Server connection lost. Please report this inconvenience to the technical department for further assistance. Goodbye! Have a great day. Okay, buddy, look! Delicious Jaws Puffs! Are we going to feed it? Shouldn't we try to kill it with fire? A lot of fire? Believe me, I don't like the idea either. But you have to play with the cards you are dealt. This is a whole new species. It could expand our knowledge of the universe and reality. Yeah! Also, I want to see where this bonding with the alien goes. Maybe it helps us get out of here. And since we don't have a proper flamethrower, 
So here we go. Look, buddy, delicious Jaws Puffs. Looks like he was trained to trade stuff for food. What is that? I would guess it's a creature egg. He's selling his offspring for food? Well, we could give him a better future than this cage. That was a bad decision right there. Yeah, I know. I've seen the movies. Going around with alien eggs never ends well. Look, buddy! I bring you more delicious Chaz Puffs! Another one? Are you nuts? Now we have a couple of eggs. What if they hatch and start breeding or something? Then we start an alien farm. Hey, buddy. Want some more Chaz Puffs? Looks like that's the last of it. So enjoy it. Did he just give me shit? Well, he didn't have anything else to trade. Besides, looks like this is almost purely lemon seeds. Are we going to take this too? It's not like that cares about this security ID. The locker needs a password to open. Why don't they use a regular lock? I always found the password thing kind of pretentious. It's not pretentious. It's cool. But that way you can't forget your key. One, keep the laboratory clean. Two, if any progress is made, call headquarters immediately, 424. Three, use your safety gear at all times. Four, keep the laboratory clean. Yes, again. Give it a try. Hello. Well, I see you've learned to use some of our communication devices. Who is that guy? I'm Admiral Rembrandt, commander of the 34th Fleet, and I order you to desist in this futile attack on our people. What is this place? This is a research facility. We are people of science. Why do you have so many armed guards then? We need to protect ourselves. And after tonight's events, it's obvious we needed more weapons. Are you an alien? What kind of question is that? Yes or no? Well, yes, but we're here purely for research purposes. Where are you from? Your people haven't mastered interstellar travel. Any reference to my planet will make no sense for you. But to put it in simple terms, we come from far, far away. We will only surrender if you hear our demands. I'm not sure if you're in a position to bargain. Nonetheless, what are your demands? We want something to eat. I would like a pepperoni pizza. Ha! I can actually meet that demand. There's a kitchen on that same level with a chef robot on it. Its access code is IDKFA. 
Feel free to ask the chef robot for whatever you like. Now that my good will has been proven, open the elevator door so my men can secure the area and escort you back to the surface. We should try that pizza first. We are not attacking anyone. We were just escaping being shot. The 22 soldiers that were killed in that facility don't think the same. We didn't do it. It was Rolf. Excuse me? The tall robot alien? Oh, yes, the Strider. I don't know how you managed to bring one of his kind to this planet, but it was a clever idea. What do you know about the Strider? That they are dangerous, but they can be stopped with enough firepower. So believe me, when my troops manage to get down there, your team will be terminated. But we are not a team. How is that? Oh, you're not coming with the Strider to sabotage our operation? No, we're here by accident. Interesting. Who else knows you're here? The Bull? You are a terrible liar. I'm sorry. This is getting kind of pointless. Seems like you don't want to cooperate. And if you don't want to cooperate, then... Grenade! It's a gas grenade! Toss it! <coughs> that was brave, but futile. That's the magic of toxic grenades. Man, this smells like a really strong peanut butter. Why are they still standing? We are not sure, Admiral. Ugh, jeez. Well, this is awkward. You tried to kill us! Mm, maybe. It seems like the small differences between our species make you immune to some of the toxins of our planet. Mental note, never use killer gas grenades on this planet. You tried to kill us with gas! No, but you can't escape the facility. There's a shaft in the wall. I can't reach it. That stick doesn't fit there. And there is nothing there that fits the hole in this stick. The door is locked. The drawers are empty. The whiteboard has some unintelligible formulas on it. Maybe it's an alien language. Maybe it was written by a doctor. Hello? One step closer and I fry you. Drop your weapons. There's no place to run. Never! The cavalry can be here any minute. You are doomed! Surrender! 
This is over. Never! Why don't you come and try to finish me off? What are you? Chicken? Don't you ever! Really? Damn, that was stupid. You can't hide there forever! He is right. He can't hide there forever. Shit, I'm in a really bad position. If I lean out, he will hit me. Let's do something. When I shout, now, you jump over here. You realize you suck at returning fire. Now! Hell? And now we know why we should not shoot lasers at this magnet. It was all planned. They are closed. There's no way I can open this. Well, if you get me a lockpick set. Cool. Now we can get in. Do we have to? It could be our ticket out of here. You lead the way then. This metal pyramid is hovering in some kind of magnetic field. It has an inscription carved into it. It reads Enhanced Zinc 03. I used all the salt on this, but it doesn't float anymore. Hmm, how is it possible that sodium chloride broke the electromagnetic field? Who cares? The important thing is that it does, and now we can take this. Great! Now we have this thing. But now it doesn't float anymore. Hello? The Tectonic 2000 salutes you. Please enter your authorization call to proceed. IDKFA. Valid authorization code. No personal updates to the Tectronic 2000 database. How may I help you? What are you? I am a kitchen Android Chiftronic 2000 serial number 0200306065 0030046WF How long is your serial number? 52 digits. We don't need to know it. What are you doing here? Me cook. I'm a robot chef. The kitchen is my natural habitat. I mean... What are you doing in this facility? I cook. I'm a robot chef. I cook for the staff of this facility. What is this place? This is a kitchen. A kitchen is a room or part of a room used for cooking and food preparation in a dwelling or commercial establishment. A modern residential kitchen is typically equipped with a stove, a sink with hot and cold running water, a refrigerator, counters and kitchen cabinets arranged according to a modular design. No, I mean, what is this facility? You can't answer that question. Where are you from? I'm made in the United Canada of Baba. That doesn't sound like it's near home. Where is that located? Sorry, I don't know about geography. Can you prepare something to eat for us? It would be a pleasure. What do you want to eat? Pepperoni pizza. 
loving recipe, interface error 1000 food supply available. What? Sorry, the pizza dough file is corrupted. Cannot prepare a pepperoni pizza. Scrambled eggs! At your command. Enter your scrambled eggs. The first time I talk with a chef robot, and it's stupid. Meatloaf! Loading recipe. Insufficient onions. Sorry, it can prepare me at loaf at this moment. I'd prefer to order something to eat later. Understood. Goodbye! Goodbye. Have a nice day. Now we have a big copper spoon. Who knows? Maybe we'll need to cook something later. It's locked, but... Yes, I can open it from here. Hey, this spatula fits perfectly and got stuck. Now I have a really long spatula. Groovy! Are you going to keep that? It's disgusting. It could be useful. No, much better. It could be handy! You are sick. It doesn't work. Most of these scanners sense the temperature differences on the contact surface, in between each fingerprint's ridges and valleys. This guy has been dead for a long time, and his hand is cold. We should warm it up. Oh man, this is sick. This can't be right. Beware, you should let it chill for a bit. No, it's okay. It's just warm. Ew. Congratulations on cutting that hand off. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Of course, I did have so much hair. You guys look so weird. Anyway, here is the key. Hey, don't be a jerk. The less contact with you, the better. I don't want that strider of yours looking for me. Sounds fair. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope we never meet again. And remember, don't get that key close to that damn thing's nose. We don't even know where his nose is. Just don't get that key too close to him, right? Okay, bye. Farewell. Oh, this is the beginning of something. Okay. Perfect. Now I have a lemon battery. The key's in place. We still need a battery for the engine. I 
I can't use this lemon battery there. I hope this works. What the hell is that? It's a battery. A homemade one. We are using enhanced zinc. Maybe it'll generate enough voltage. A lemon battery. Really? Let me give it a try. Look, it's working. Awesome. One less thing to worry about. Um, you should be worried. Everything about this is pretty irregular. I'll keep my fingers crossed then. I just hope it doesn't run out of juice in the middle of the road. Because it's a lemon. It was a joke. Come on. The energy doesn't come from the lemon. It's the metals that... It was a joke! So, we are good to go, right? Yes, just give me one second, and... The train is ready to leave. Awesome! Cool! Yes! Get ready. We're leaving this place right now. Escaping invading aliens by train? Not even in the Twilight Zone. Here we go. Is our station too far away from here? No. We should stop the train after passing the last lava pool. And when is that? I'll tell you. I was wondering, what if they send... Don't you say it. Why? Come on, boy. You are a dead man. And if you think... Nick! What? Let me help you with the aiming. No! A little bit higher. Can you 
Just shut up! When did you learn to use that thing? It's pretty easy. It's like a rifle, but lighter. And it shoots lasers. Also, seems like it has an infinite magazine. But it takes a few seconds to recharge between shots. Can you lend me the weapon? Yeah, let me try a few more shots. Can you lend me the weapon already? Yes, sure. Just give me a minute. I've almost got them. You just keep shooting! Give me that! Yeah, just one last shot. Ah, forget it. He doesn't deserve a punch. Yet. told me that! Ah, <sighs> forget it. Ouch! Give me that thing already! Okay, just one last shot. Ow! Okay, take it! Hey! What's up? Can you change the speed of this thing? I guess. Can you go faster? Okay, now going at full speed. I will try something. Good luck. That was close. Team Mystery Stalkers! That name is stupid. You should definitely work on that. But we are a great team. I agree with Nick in those three statements. Come on, guys. The name is cool. And when we work together, we are unstoppable. I mean, we just defeated an intergalactic hit squad. This is our station. These stairs should lead to a hidden entrance in the North Forest Woods. Then what are we waiting for? We should call the police as soon as we can. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. We should think about where to hide this big guy. Watch out, guys. I think Ralph is sensing something. Hands up! Hands up! We got them! I repeat, we got them! The Strider is down. The humans are unarmed. Don't you even move! Okay, sir. You will have to come with me. Someone wants to meet you in person. What we do with the Strider? Dismantle it. No! Also, I think we should kill this one, too. There's no need to rush. The most logical thing to do. If we say he died, he died. And none of you can do anything about it. What? This is... here me I had to do some business in these woods but I have some better questions what the hell are you doing here is she your friend who the hell were those two uniform guys why'd they have blue blood what the hell is that big ugly robot thing is that the alien you were talking about it's a long story 
I believe you. We better move. I bet my ass these guys have friends and they'll be here soon. My truck is nearby. Let's go. We gotta disappear. Okay. So... This washing machine came from outer space. Yes. We are not really sure where this thing came from. It fell from the sky, that's for sure. But there are other aliens that look like people. Yeah. That are trying to kill him. And you. Yes. And her. Yes. Who are you again? My name is Linda. I'm a reporter. Okay, so there is this conspiracy of aliens that are plotting something. They say something about this planet not having much time. I don't like how that sounds. I've already planned my vacations. Where are you going on vacation? To Hawaii, of course. I'm gonna practice some surfing. Can we keep the focus on the killer aliens? We have to call the police. It's not a good idea. They're everywhere. We can't trust anyone. I don't like cops, so that's okay with me. We have to learn more about those aliens before taking any action. How are we going to learn more about them? They'll try to kill us on sight. We have to stop them. How the hell are we going to know what to do? Maybe we could ask Ralph. Do you have a Ouija board? Because that thing looks pretty dead to me. No. P is still working. Right, Ralph? He is kind of in a critical condition. But I guess I could fix him. With the right tools. And those tools are? A wielding machine. And some tin to repair the circuit damage. These circuits are pretty basic for an advanced race. Also, we want to be able to communicate with this thing. So, I guess a computer with a dictionary would give us the right interface to teach him how to talk to us. Are you sure you can do this? The damage looks superficial. I could give it a try. I'm sure you can do it. Besides, we don't have any other options. Okay, I'll take notes. A computer with a dictionary installed, some tin, and a welding machine. We'll go into town for those things. You better stay here guarding Ralph. Let me check if I can find something useful in the cab. Did you find anything? Yeah. Some weapons? No. A flashlight. Eh, it's better than nothing. Okay. Trash, 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 and more trash. Are you sure there is nothing semi-useful there? Keep in mind that our standards for usefulness are very low. No, it's just trash. Like rotting things and smelly stuff. Oh, wait! Hey, look, it's a small fryer basket. Rad! Really? We are saying rad to an old fryer basket. I feel like a hobo already. Well, at least it doesn't stink. It does stink. Hi, kids. Isn't it kind of late for you to be so far away from home? That's none of your business. Uh, fair enough. What are you doing? I'm beholding the vastness of the universe. Isn't that telescope pointing at Miss Perez's house? No! Not at all! Don't worry, we're not here to judge you. 
I'm a creep. Vinny likes Samantha Silverman, but he'll never tell her. Hey! Can we use your telescope? No, it's mine. But... No, I'm using it. Can we enter your house? What? Why? No! Just ask him. Bye! Goodbye, kids. Hey, there's a key under it. Classic. Yeah, I heard of a new video game where to enter a mansion, you should do the same thing. People should not put their keys under the doormat. Voila! Hello? There's no one home. This is trespassing on private property. I think we have worse things to worry about than breaking the law at this point. Besides, we already broke the law like several times and in different degrees tonight. Okay, let's see what we got here. Gotcha! Isn't it a little too much to steal and kill? the principal's pet fish? Humanity is in peril. Priorities. How is having this fish going to help? Come on, a dead fish? Possibilities are endless. You have no idea, do you? Maybe, but we keep the fish. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you think this one has a dictionary installed? I don't know. We should try this on the truck. We don't want to install anything weird in Ralph. Now you see it? Now you don't. I can see a spool of solder wire behind the mesh. This is a lost guy's hideout. Go do your nerd stuff somewhere else. Says who? Says me, Furio. But we are lost guys! Really? Then tell me the lost guy's secret password. I don't remember it? That's not the password. Sometimes you have to play with the cards you are dealt. That's also not the password. I mean, don't worry, we will recall it. Eventually. What are you doing here? None of your business. Is this a vampire gathering? What? No. Is there anything here that would be helpful to fix a broken alien? What? What? What kind of question was that? What question? Forget it. We have to go. Get lost. Was that an invitation to join the Lost Guys? Go away already. Hello. I can't believe it. River goblins! We are not... What's up with homeless people mistaking us for goblins? We aren't that short, right? Uh, let's roll with it. Hello, little goblins! 
Have you seen something unusual tonight? Yes! The evil river crocodile. Keep an eye on him or he will eat you alive. Or worse, he will drink your booze. That doesn't look like... I can distinguish an evil crocodile when I see one. And I'm watching one right now. But it looks like it's just... A crocodile. But... If you slay him, I'll give you a prize. Okay. You can scare a snake, you can bribe a wolf, but you can't ever defeat a crocodile. Can you help us? Help you do what? There's a blue-blooded race of human replicant aliens that are invading our planet. Can you help us stop them? <laughs> I don't know what you've been drinking, but man, I want some. But we're telling the truth. Sorry, you are talking crazy stuff. I bet you are trying to confuse me with one of your goblin riddles. Why are you here? The weather is nice. Maybe you can find a terrifying monster from time to time, like the evil crocodile. But you also can't find invaluable prizes in the riverbank. Yesterday, I found half a tuna sandwich. Fascinating. Do you like tuna sandwiches? Yes. Then stay away from my riverbank or I cut you! We have to go. Goodbye, little goblins. There you are. Just a bunch of debris. Hurley guacamole! The evil crocodile turned into debris! Thank you, goblins! With your magic, you saved me! It was an easy task. That deserves an award! Here you go! The magic wand of happiness for you! That's just old lipstick. Thank you, oh noble hobo. You are welcome, my friend! Now stop looking at my stuff or I'll cut you! Where the hell are we going? I have no idea. This is a maze. Who touched me? It wasn't me! It wasn't me either! It's so easy to get lost here. Let's turn here. Follow me! I have an idea! Are you sure we're not going to end up going backwards? Yes! And we are back at the beginning! It's so easy to lose orientation here. Maybe if we were following a trail... It's the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, it's true. Just look at the moon. Anyways, sup? What are you doing out here so late? Is it late? Yes. I'm not tired at all. I'm just walking around. Have you seen something unusual? Well, I've seen a lot of stuff lately. Did you hear something about the New Frontier Corporation? Yes. Suddenly the New Frontier Labs are full of guards. I hear that someone set their self planes labs on fire. Have you seen something unusual? Well, I've seen a lot of stuff lately. Did you see some kind of alien creature? No, but I heard that there's a weird creature near the river. Talking about the river, did you know that the sewers and wells are connected? Talking about the well. It is said that if you throw a game token into the well, the well fairy will grant you a wish. But I think it's probably a scam. I threw a ton of game tokens in there, and made a lot of wishes, and not even one was granted. Have you seen something unusual? Well, I've seen a lot of stuff lately. Do you know something about repairing robot aliens? No. 
but I know a lot of trivia facts. Like what? Did you know that in Monkey Kong, if you hold down and start for seven seconds, then up, up, down, you get a bonus lives? It's kind of a pointless trick. Who plays that game anyways? Talking about pointless. Did you know that in Darksville Castle, there's a secret cat mode? It's pretty pointless, but some people play it anyways. Super Lemon Cola is the best soda ever. Are you... on something? Yes, I'm on Super Lemon Cola. Man, that's the best thing ever. It really quenches the thirst. How many cans did you drink already? Like... 20? Bye! bye 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 Is it safe to handle? According to the Gagar counter, this thing is highly radioactive. Even if it could contaminate a small water supply, it is not like this thing is going to melt your hand if you touch it. Just be sure we don't hold on to it for more than a few hours. I feel like I'm in an RPG. But instead of increasing my chances of dealing critical damage, I increase my chances of developing cancer. Hello! Hey you guys! Ready for the freshness and irresistible taste of... Super Lemon Cola! Legal disclaimer, Super Lemon Cola might not be fresh and could be resistible. We are being chased by aliens that want to destroy the world and I'm afraid we all might die. <laughs> Your friend is funny! No one believes us and our only hope is to repair a robot from another planet. Why are you talking about this with them? You told me that I should talk about the first thing that came to my mind when I saw a girl I like. Look, it's working. I'm not freezing. Yeah, but you're being too awkward. That's not true. Your friend is funny and cute. Her opinion does not represent the opinion of the Lemon Cola Corporation. What are you doing so late at night in the square? Sharing the incredible taste of Super Lemon Cola. With whom? This place is dead at this time of night. That only makes her job easier. Besides, thanks to the delicious caffeine of Super Lemon Cola, who can sleep at night? Legal disclaimer. Caffeine may or may not be delicious. Super Lemon Cola could cause insomnia, paranoia, and other sleepiness-associated problems. Tell me more about Super Lemon Cola. The Lemon Cola Company was established in 1886 by John Lemon Cola, an Irish immigrant who wanted to create the ultimate rust buster. Legal disclaimer, Super Lemon Cola may or may not be a rust buster. John Lemon Cola may or may not be a real person. And the allegations of the Lemon Cola Corporation financing military dictatorships in some countries of South America could be non-factual. We didn't reach that part yet. You better stop there then. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? I saw a raccoon jumping on a pogo stick. Legal disclaimer, consuming Super Lemon Cola over long periods of time may cause hallucinations. Are there any Super Lemon Cola free samples? You're in luck tonight. Yeah, we are promoting the Van Challenge. What? Legal disclaimer, the Van Challenge may be something she just made up. Could you please shut up? It's too crowded out here. Why don't we go talk inside the van? It's more private. Yeah, sure. 
I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the blonde one. <laughs> he is cute. I don't know what to say. Go talk with her. But we have to fix Ralph. Maybe you can find something useful inside the van. Just distract the girl. We'll do the rest. But I don't know what to talk about with her. Remember, if you don't know what to say, just say the first thing that comes to mind. We will be there to assist you. Are you coming? Y yeah. Let's see what we got here. Cool, a really short hose. No wonder they threw this away. Gager counter started to beep. So, the well and these drains were connected in the end. Let's follow the radioactive trail. Turn here. It's this way. No, that way. Ow! Who hit me? It was that way in the end. Hey, it looks like we're at the bottom of the well. And it's full of arcade tokens. Let's get as many as we can. I think we have more than enough. You're right. Let's go back. Cowabunga! What the hell does that mean? Nothing. Just forget it. Hey! 
I'm trying to play here. It seems like you are losing. It ain't my fault. This game is super hard. Yeah, it looks hard. What are you playing? Monkey Kong. Is it good? Yeah, but it's kind of unfair. Then why do you play it? I like it. What is your highest score? 2,500. Did you beat the first level? Nope, never. How long have you been playing? For two weeks already. He sucks at this. So, you like rock and roll? Yeah, how do you know? The clothes? Oh, yeah. It's my lost guy's uniform, you know. Mind if I give it a try? Are you crazy? Wait your turn. How many coins do you have left? A lot. Did you know? What? I heard that if you hold down and start for seven seconds, then up, up, down, you get bonus lives. Really? Let me give it a try. <laughs> hey, it worked! Thanks! You guys are awesome! You should be part of the Lost Guys. We need more smart people like you. Go talk with Furio. He's at the abandoned factory. Tell him Snake School sent you. The password to enter is John Bobby Sucks. Cool! Hi, welcome to Laser Llamas, where the fun begins. What can I get with tickets? You can get... Do you like pincers? Maybe. The only thing we have right now is this pair of end cutters for 200 tickets. What happened to all the cool prizes? Can you keep a secret? Yes. Me too. The ski ball is not working properly. Oh man, that sucks. Hello! Hello! You guys are not from here, right? No, we are from South Plain. I knew it! What are you doing so far away from your shitty town? Well, we're not really far away. I mean, South Plains is just next to North Forest. And our town is not that shitty. Why do you all dress the same? We are a team. The official North Forest Street Puncher team. The most radical Street Puncher team ever. With Kyle as our opener. That's right. Otto, the master of round two. No one can beat me. And me, Benji. The final challenger and captain of the North Forest Punchers. Do you play Street Puncher in South Plains? Maybe. I bet my team can beat your team any day of the week. In your dreams. When we work together, nothing can stop us. What do you want to bet? I bet you all my arcade tickets against... Do you have some game tokens? Yeah. Then if you lose, you have to give us a few coins. We have a lot of coins. We could bet a few. The rules are simple. We play one versus one. The team that wins all three fights wins. So what if a team wins two rounds and loses one? It's a tie. No one wins, no one loses. We call it the perfect policy. You win every match or you don't truly win. I'm gonna break his armor in no time! How did you switch from Bimmy to his brother in mid-fight? I won! My calculations were correct. Come on, it was just luck! Well done! Okay, I'm next! This will be a piece of cake!
The good thing is that if I lose, Simus loses the armor. There's no way you could defeat a knight in his shining armor! Yeah! I'm the best! Ah, uh, the buttons were jamming. Well done, Nick! Seems like I'm the final boss. Let's fight! Are you going to try to defeat me with Bimmy Dragon? Really? I feel bad about punching such a lovely character. Yes! That was pure luck! We won! Now, hand me your game tickets. A bet is a bet. You know, you taught us a lesson. Maybe people from South Plains aren't so stupid after all. Thank you. Yeah, maybe if we... No, I can't do this. I think you are stupid and you won because you were lucky. South Plains sucks! Really? And stop stealing our parents' jobs. That was weird. Let me see that. For this, I can give you a pair of end cutters. Is that okay? Is there any other thing we could trade the tickets for? Not really. Then I guess it's okay. Here you go. The door is locked and the handle is missing. I'm sure they have all kinds of wacky stuff inside the arcade service room. Not really. I know the guy that works here. His name is Alberto, and the tools he works with are pretty average. But I don't see any warehouse stores. We might get some useful stuff here anyways. Hey, this fits perfectly! Ta-da! Problem solved! No plushies inside. And if it's here, it must be broken. What's the problem with this one? The claw doesn't have any grip strength? On the contrary, too much grip strength. We lose all the plushies in a few hours. For some reason, when it receives a hit on the left side, the claw starts working perfectly. And that is bad for business. Hi! Hey! Hey, Tony, I haven't seen you in a while. And who are those kids? Oh, they are Vinny and Nick. Hello. Guys, this is Alberto. What are you up to? Were you able to descramble the pay-per-view cable signal? Well, about that, we ended up catching a distress call from an alien creature. <laughs> Man, <laughs> they really must put great adult videos there. No, like, really? We contacted an alien. He's in a truck outside of town. You can come and see it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you were up to, but I'm not playing along. I have a shit ton of work to do. This place is falling to pieces. Can you lend us a tin welder? Let me think about it. No, I have a lot of work to do. Unless... Let's do something. You help me, I help you. What do you need to fix? Could you clean those circuits? They are rusted to hell. Piece of cake. Where is the rust remover? Oh, <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, I don't have any. Then how do you expect me to? You will find a way. You are pretty resourceful. Like that guy from TV, uh, MacGyver. We will see what we can do. Leave us! We contacted an alien! Yeah, sure. There are aliens posing like people doing weird experiments in the town. 
Well, in fact... <laughs> uh, w wait a minute. Have you played Polybius? What is that? Forget it. What would you do if we had to fix a robot alien that had been shot? Well, the first thing I would do would be to stop drinking whatever I was drinking. Goodbye! Later! These circuits look really rusty. Yeah, if you could help me with that, it'd be much appreciated. Brad, I knew this was abrasive, but didn't expect results so quick. Hey, thanks. That's formidable work. And with a nice lemon smell. You help me, now I help you. You could use my tin welder. Sadly, I don't have any soldering tin left. But don't worry, it's pretty cheap. Tomorrow you can go to the hardware store and get some. Awesome! Do you have any tin to lend us? No, uh, not really. It's a bear holding a floppy disk that reads, I have 360 kilobytes of love for you. That's like, totally cheesy. It's kind of an overkill, but it works. Okay, I put this here. Cool, now you need to suck the hose and quickly put the hose in the gas can. Try not to swallow gas. We don't have time to go to the hospital. Hello, Palinchinski. Welcome to Tape Store. Palinchinski? Palinchinski. Palinchinski. Children. Hello, children. <laughs> Welcome to Tape Store. Uh, oh, thanks. What movie would you recommend? Do you like uh, East Cordelavia cinema? I've never seen an East Cordelavia movie. Do you like sad movies? No. Do you like violin music that uh, change pitch? No. Do you like movies about how strong and righteous is General Karnachik? Not really. Then you're not going to like East Kotalavia cinema. You talk weird. I learn English. I come from East Kotalavia. Little country, good food, beautiful women, many communism. I'm Orberto. Morberto learned fast. In East Cordelavia, I computer Karnacht. What? Da, I computer doctor. I made program dictionary on computer to learn English. Many effective. Interesting. Where is East Cordelavia? East Cordelavia, lovely country in between uh, Karmanistajan and Korcholavia, Democratic Republic. I don't know any of those countries. We know. You are not that bright in geography. Excuse me? Can you lend us your computer? No, I need to patent invention in computer. America great. 
America Private Property. How much for copying your dictionary program to a diskette? First patent, then sale. But we are in need. Morberto traveled many kilometers and crossed many fences to be convinced by communist bullshit. We want to rent a movie. Good. What movie you want? You always want to see old movies. Let me choose something better. No, no, no. This is my turn. It was Vinny, Nick, Tony. Last week it was Nick's turn. Now it's my turn. Okay, Nick, surprise me. I would like to rent the Sex Fist Club. Oh, a Chalanchka movie. <laughs> it's a short movie, but uh, your choice. Almost forgot. Show me your Radovinko. What? Your Radovinko. Identification. Show me identification. Chalanchka section, far away. Don't want to lose time. No identification. No Chalanchka movies. Oh, yes. My ID. Give me a minute. It's a plastic key card that reads Con Jonner, Blood Type R Plus, 05-06-1952, Clearance Level B. This is you? Yes. Look different. I shaved my mustache. Mustache? Ah, Garcania, mustache. Okay then, you are a dope person. You can rent challenge a movie. Then we want to rent the Sex Fist Club. Sure, give me a minute. Good idea. Cover me. And done. I copied all the dictionary files onto this floppy disk. What now? Can we pass? No, this place is Lost Guys only. But we are Lost Guys. Okay, prove it. What is the Lost Guys gang password, bozo? John Bobby sucks. It does. Who sent you? Snake Skull. Oh, that guy. He's pretty cool. Hello. Who are you? We just joined the Lost Guys. Furio told us to join in. Do you have names? Oh, yes. I'm Vinny. I'm Tony. And I'm El Toro. Nice name. Welcome to the Lost Guys. We fight the system. Yeah, down with capitalism. Long live anarchy. My name is Spud. I'm Slashy. I'm Star. And I'm Rainbow Ray. So, what are we doing here exactly? We trash the system. Listen to music. Peg out. Make out. Woo! Why did you join the Lost Guys? We... we like to do rad stuff. And make out. I mean, forget it. How are we supposed to fight the system? Well, we listen to alternative music. Yeah, music that makes you think. And also, I bought a new jacket that says, Down the System! I drew a big anarchy A in front of the bank. Yeah, down with capitalism. But do you realize that anarchy is the ultimate expression of liberal capitalism? where the state is so small that it has disappeared, and everyone is free to trade in any manner that individuals deem fit? What? I mean, capitalism sucks. Long live anarchy. Uh, radical. 
He talks kind of funny, but I like this guy. What's all that stuff over there? It's stuff we steal from our parents to sell. So we can buy cassettes, jackets, paint, posters, bracelets, hairspray, makeup, hair extensions, lipstick, bandanas, boots, fingerless gloves, and radical stuff. Like, more lipstick. Why don't we just go burn some big corporation? Yeah, like the new Frontier Corporation. I like how you think. And I would love to do that, man. But I twisted my ankle, so I can't run. I can't because, um, I'm such a pyromaniac that if I start, I'll probably burn the whole town. I would join, but I'm like totally allergic to peanuts. And if we encounter peanuts, things could get nasty. Don't look at me. My dad doesn't let me burn stuff. See you later! Red! I have something for you. Thanks! I love the color, but I'm not gonna kiss you. Not in front of Spikes. Hello! Sup? Hey! Hello! Hey! Welcome to the Lost Boys Hideout! So... What are we doing here exactly? We trash the system. Listen to music. Hang out! Make out! One less thing to worry about. What if the guy dies from an allergy? A new thing to worry about. What if a dog bites me when I reach for the solder wire? Oh, shut up. Okay, now we have 10 solder wire. Awesome! This thing is full of gas and ready to go. This computer does not have any kind of dictionary installed. So? So, we should install a dictionary in this computer before connecting it to our metallic friend. was easy to install. Now we can use floppy disks in the computer. We need to turn on the generator to be able to power the computer. If we are going to use the computer, at least we have somewhere to plug it in. Let me install this. Okay, this is working. According to my calculations, if we can fix Ralph's circuits, we could connect him directly to the computer and speak with him. That's more like it. You think you can fix him? I guess so. The circuits seem to be pretty basic. Let me give it a try.
I think he is better now. Wow, you're a genius! I know. Hello. I acknowledge your existence. What are you? Unable to find specific definition in dictionary. Any approximation? Extraterrestrial being. We already knew that. Could you be more specific? I, extraterrestrial soldier. Are you a robot? Robot machine programmed to move and perform tasks automatically. I, no robot. You see? He can't be named Ralph, since he is not a robot alien life form. I, like Ralph name, Sawan's musical. He likes it, bro. You can't argue with that. Why are you here? We at war, blue blood enemy. Why are you at war? We could pay back. Can you elaborate? Give him a break. He just learned how to speak our language. I bet explaining the political reasons behind intergalactic warfare is incredibly complex. Come on, how hard could it be to explain a conflict? Could you elaborate in simple terms the reasons behind the Falklands War? Shut up. What are the Blue Blood doing here? Blue Blood developing walking technology on planet Earth. Blue Blood future plans. Planet Earth walks. Planet Earth becomes weapon. Planet Earth destroy Ralph Planet. I didn't get a thing. It seems like the blue-blooded guys are deploying some kind of warping technology to weaponize our planet. Like making a Death Star? No, I think they are planning to teleport Earth into Ralph's world, destroying both planets in a really efficient way. Correct. They working now. Priority, stop blue blood. Why do the blue blood look like humans and you look so different? Blue blood humans, same creator, similar principles, Ralph humans, different creator, different principles. Wow. So gods exist? He isn't talking about gods, necessarily. Who created us? Who created you? Long to explain, hard to explain, little time, priority, stop blue blood. Let's go stop the bad guys. Not ready for battle. I require further modifications. I require metal. I require improved armor. I think I know where we can find what he wants. Are you thinking of... Let's go! Ralph ready for battle. Ralph mean bastard. I like his attitude. Alright! Ralph is improved and at full power. What is our next move? Attack Blue Blood Base. Located 1.3 kilometers northeast. Fred imminent. Fast action required. I think R2 here is right. We must storm their position and quick. I, not R2. I, Ralph. I know, I know. So, things are about to go crazy. Kids, you already did an excellent job. I mean, you repaired a robot alien for God's sake. But now is the action part. People are going to get killed. I want you to stay here with Linda. While I, in the talking microwave, go stop the bad guys. I, not microwave, I, Ralph. But we want to help! 
yeah, the world depends on this. Every man counts. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We should go with you. But I need you to help. Look, follow me. Check this out. Cool! What is this? This is my radio. When the time comes, I need you to put the coordinates I'm going to give you here. And then, you pull that lever. Okay? Linda could do this! We want to go with you! No, guys. I need you to protect the truck while I'm out. Besides, you're smarter than Linda. You think that we are smarter than a woman who successfully infiltrated an alien undercover organization? Uh, I need you to protect her. Stay here. Okay. Can you give us a rifle? <sighs> no. Let's go, Metal Man. It's a war that we have to unleash. I not Metal Man. Whatever. We have work to do. The bull. Yes? Do you have enough ammo? I know. What? Uh, nothing. I thought you were about to say something different. Uh, of course I have enough ammo. Don't worry about me. Me and Monica are an unbeatable team. Uh, Monica? His shotgun? Yeah. Well, we have to go. Remember, wait for my signal. I acknowledge your existence. Now what? Now we wait in the truck for some coordinates. That truck is full of tricks. Kids, do you copy? Over. Yes! Uh, it's yes, over. Yes, over. Good. We are about to put the goose in the oven. Stay alert for further instructions. Over. What is he talking about? They're about to start the attack. Oh. Roger, over. Did you hear that? Yes. We are missing all the fun. And that's okay with me. Everything is going according to the plan. I need... You need us to... What? Hello? Over. This isn't working. Let me try something. Ah, uh, as I suspected. They are jamming our communications. And that means... We can't talk with them. They can't talk with us. The bull is counting on our support. Any idea on how to fix this? Yeah, but I don't like it. So, this is what you think they are using to jam our communications? Most certainly. So, we just climb up there and... And we find a way to make it stop doing what it's doing. Works for me. Sounds easy and straightforward. It's not going to be like that. Is it safe to take? Yeah, the safety pin and safety clip are on. I feel like a grave robber. We are only taking things that we can use to solve this. I got his wallet! Cool! Let's see what we have here. A key card? A driver's license? Some cash? And the glowing piece of plastic. And that's it. I'll push this to the left. I can't push it any further. Okay, here we go. Can you choose Cherry Super Lemon Cola? Or diet Super Lemon Cola? No, the only option is just plain Super Lemon Cola. 
Hey, this isn't working. It ain't my money. Give me my super lemon cola. Sweet. It's open. Okay, we're going to take this one. They are super light. I heard they only weigh 10 kilograms. And that means? 22 pounds. Radical! I'm trying to connect it, but it doesn't work. Should I blow this up? Sure, that could remove the dirt inside. Just don't spit on it. Dust out! I could... Please don't put your hand on it. These things are delicate. If the pins get dusty, you won't be able to connect anything there. Cool! This computer is connected to the radar! Let me do this. Darn! I need a password to be able to override the previous jamming command. So? So we need a password. Or a bomb. It's full of weird looking knots. Okay. According to this book, this is a triple carpenter knot. And... done. Dope! We have some rope. The wrench fits, but the bolts are covered with rust and won't budge. Let's see if things do go better with Super Lemon Cola. And done! The vent is open! Get out of here! Open the vent already! I can't! He's holding it! You are not welcome! What is going on? Someone is blocking the exit. Shoo! Shoo! Stop pushing me! Let's go back up. And never come back! Do you think this is a good idea? I think it is a perfect idea. Yes, what are you waiting for? Aw oh, man, you ruined it! What? You were supposed to yell frag out! But it wasn't a fragmentation grenade, it was a knockout grenade. Shut up! Should we enter now? No, the grenade gas will probably take some time to dissipate. What about now? This is going to be a long five minute wait. Okay. I smell nothing. Look, it worked! And now we can open this door. Where are the weapons? He doesn't have any. I guess that's why he locked himself in this room.
cool. Now I have... I have no idea what I have. It's sodium carbonate. How do you know? It has a label on the bottom. Oh! what we got some bandages ammonium chloride and a box of pony themed adhesive bandages what were they thinking may we take the pony themed adhesive bandages we will take everything okay I will mix these two. Now I have sodium carbonate with ammonium chloride. Is that explosive? No. I mean, I guess. It's a smelling salt. It's used in some sports for waking people up. Okay, let's make him a double omendo knot. Try making a poor tails knot for the legs. And done. Now he can't escape. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Can you talk? What? Where? Who are you? Good. He can talk. I will say nothing! Tell me how to stop the communication jam! Never! <laughs> you hit like a girl! You don't! We are doing it wrong. Slaps and punches are between the pain range she is willing to endure to withhold information from us. I don't like how that sounds! What were you doing here? This is my office! The real question is, what are you doing here? We are trying to make contact with the... Stop there! We are the ones asking the questions. Give us your name and rank. No. So you don't want to cooperate? Of course I don't. Where are you from? West Germany. We know you're an alien. I mean, just look at your head. You're not wearing any hat. Everyone in West Germany looks like this. We know you're lying. How many people from West Germany do you know? This is getting nowhere. What do you know about the communication jams? What is a jam? You can punch me all you want, but it will not help you call for backup! The radar is running a sophisticated program that is rendering your whole world unable to use any kind of telecommunication signal. Not even your stupid TV is working! You monster! <laughs> You know, it isn't that hard to override the jamming command. You only need to connect a terminal to the main radar, and if you have some basic computer skills, done! The thing is, I added a validation protocol. So on top of that, you need a password. I know the password. I could give you the password. But since you have been such a naughty boy, I will tell you nothing! We are going to stop the interrogation for now.
Tell us how to stop the communication jamming or else. Ooh, great idea. Please let me do it. Oh, uh, okay. So, smart guy, you better start talking or we will have to test just how tough you are. One thumb at a time. I will tell you nothing! Could you please leave us alone for a minute? Are you sure about this? Yep. Do you think he's actually going to cut that guy's fingers? I don't know. It's a possibility. He was really stubborn. Nick? Or the alien with the coat? I was talking about the alien. Done. The password is like a record. Like a record? Yeah, like a record, but all together. Also, commands could take between 5 to 10 seconds to set up. He looks kind of confused and scared. No, I'm not! Let me do this. The password was... Like a record. Thank you. And... Done. Radio communications have been restored. Wait, let me check for a subroutine. Oh... Yes, this is interesting. I can target their network. What are you doing? Leaving them a little distraction. <laughs> Nothing fancy. But I guess it would do the trick. And done. Let's get out of here. Kids, what the hell are you doing here? Re-establishing communications. Can you use the radio now? Yes. You are welcome. That explains why Linda answered the radio. Missile impact in 4 minutes 32 seconds. What is he talking about? Oh, yeah. We must leave immediately. I instructed Linda to launch a missile to a tracker we just planted. You have a missile launcher? Yes, but a small one and I almost never use it. Now, let's get the hell out of here. This is in every channel? Why can't we restore communications? What the hell is this? It seems like what we are watching is... Adult pay-per-view cable set. First the South Plains base gets destroyed by a Strider. Then the train is sabotaged. Then the Strider and some maniac are wiping out the upper defenses. This... What else could go wrong today? Enemy. Neutralize. <sighs> that was close. We stopped an intergalactic threat. I... I feel like the guys from the invasion of the Saucer Man. Is that a nuclear mushroom? Good question. I hope not. If this works like in the movies, the military should be arriving soon. Then I guess we should go back to the truck. I'm not going. I leave. But we need to hide you from the authorities. Yes, we have a treehouse where you can stay and all. I, soldier, I keep going. I would love to know more about you in the universe. But if you have to go, we understand. Good luck, Ralph. Hasta la vista. You are a mean motherfucker. I dig it. I acknowledge your existence. We acknowledge your existence, too. Man, Linda was so mad when we got back. If you think about it, no one ever thanked us for saving the world. I know, right? Well, officially we weren't even there, and it was a terrorist attack. I still can't believe everyone in town bought the sorry-ass excuse they made up to have us and our family quarantined. I was talking with some people, and this might be pure speculation, but it seems like the government found and shut down a third base during the 90s. Really? Yeah. 
Wow. Did you see anything related to, you know, Striders? Not a word. But then again, I work in the DEA. The only aliens we see are usually illegal aliens. <laughs> but what about you, Tony? Did you ever hear anything from... What was the name of that girl? Whom? The Super Lemon Cola Girl. You still refer to her as Super Lemon Cola Girl? She was my girlfriend for like five years. You dated her sister, and her name is pretty similar to yours. Well, I'm not good with names. Vinny, what's on your mind? Eh, nothing. Just watching you two. Seems like the Mystery Stalkers will never change. Who are the Mystery Stalkers? That was our group name! Don't you remember? We used to call ourselves that. We never ever called ourselves that. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. You tried to make it a thing for a week or something, but it never caught on. You can deny it, but it was our name. It's stupid. It was our group name. It wasn't. It was. Hey, look at the time. We're going to be late. Let's go. Kids, I'm so happy you came to visit me. We're glad to see you too, old man. Can you at least pause the game? Yes, after I beat this level. We smuggled a couple of whiskey bottles. Good. Do you have some pizza too? No, but I got you an original copy of Maze Quest 2. Oh, I was the best at that game. How did you get it? A clueless kid traded it at the shop for a Boy Scouts book. Are you still working at the Emerald Sword? Of course, I bought it like 20 years ago. Are you sure you're taking your pills? As if I could forget. It's the only thing Linda talks about. By the way, where is she? Doing grandmother stuff. Now I'm done with this game. You were using the wrong type of... No, I was doing it good. The game is unfair. Now, let's play that maze quest too, you yeah. have. Okay, I'll start. Good, but don't create a goblin warrior. Their stats are bad. Because pony wizards are so much better. They have a lot of intelligence and health. You only like them because they're ponies. Shut up. Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs>